Java Monster. <laughs> Cafe Latte. This is my favorite flavor. You're you're cracking open a Java Monster. Katie just had a donut. We're we're splurging today. I am. Ooh, uh, yeah. I'm, I need a, I need to get more discipline. I'm worried. Katie is thirty five weeks pregnant. This week I'll be thirty five. Yep. And you know she's eating like it. She and she deserves to. She's like I don't. I want to. Katie, healthiest person I've ever known. And we we for years I would be like donuts, and she'd always say no. And this week she was like, yeah. And I was like, all right, <laughs> dang it. Now I'm eating donuts, and then I had two donuts and. Donuts are, I, w- I think most would agree. I like the idea of donuts. And then you you're disappointed by them at some point later. The in the actual the bites, I'm I'm oh my gosh, it's the best moment of my life. And then immediately <laughs> after, I'm like, ah, I, really? This is how I started my day. Yeah, <laughs> I feel that way after two big, covered in chocolate donuts and then we were at 10 a.m we were like well, i'm exhausted yeah i was like i <laughs> it's like, stay awake i haven't had that much sugar and fat that early i was like how do i mean this is not helping me at all good for you yeah you're done with the tour you're like nothing matters anymore. nothing or, ma- start with donuts i love embracing the nothing matters mentality when you finish like a big project like fin- doing the finishing the tour what does that have to do with my like health and wellness and it's nothing funny too because you're like, still now i eat donuts in front of people constantly <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have a podcast you have an instagram and it's also funny that you think that it happens only in big moments i think every sunday you have that mentality hey the week's over <laughs> yeah. nothing matters Dude, anymore. i do kind of like just pile it on, on yeah <laughs> this I, is not like a big accomplishment thing this is the every sunday family man derek and i have already been in the studio this morning we just did uh the audiobook for my children's book how you got your name Oh, that was down there. Go wide for me. There it is down there. Yes. Children, thanks for all oh, the sports so my far. Bare feet. Oh. And we were, I was doing the audio book. <laughs> Cover them up. That, well, that's only Patreon. Since blur that. I put the Patreon link over her feet. <laughs> Don't. Why are you making them scandalous? You're, she's like, do it. You're making them look I all. I really need a pedicure. You're, you're honestly. rubbing them like a cricket. <laughs> she's like, yeah, why is she doing it all promiscuous right now? <laughs> Q&A. I don't yeah. want to. Don't, don't turn on that camera anymore. Yeah. I don't really like looking <laughs> Sorry, at it. Me... When I was doing the audio, you know, some nice lady was helping me just kind of like, you know, it's her, Read. It's, it's her job to coach you up how to do the audiobooks. And the book goes, it, it's like the story of a little boy getting his name, how you got your name. And so it's like his mom and dad talking to him. So I did a dad voice, a mom voice. And then when it came to the little boy's voice, it was like, I I looked in the mirror and I saw my name was, and she was like, you, you kind of do the name almost like you're kind of mocking children. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe don't do that. Like she was so nice. I was like, yeah, yeah, I got it. So when did you land on? It's like, uh, every little boy was, in, uh, I, I just, I, this is the voice of the little boy. I, it was something like, and I looked in the mirror and I saw me. That seems better. No speech yeah. impediments. Yeah, yeah. So you really emphasize speech impediments on your like little kid voices. <laughs> I saw me. Little boy. Can't wait to hear that. <laughs> How are the other voices? Uh, what what the disabilities kind of did you give the other people? <laughs> it was funny too. I went in a little too hot with the with the mom. I was like, it's like it's an audio book. Trying to be really silly. So I was like, you, we, we tried that? to name you like Vaz. And she was almost like, you're... <laughs> She's like, maybe a little like the mom needs to sound a little more like nice and motherly. Like a normal than, like, mom. Some psycho housewife, like <laughs> sassy girl. So we dialed are it. Are you in. like the only audiobook reader that they're ever like, maybe tone it down? <laughs> probably. <laughs> I bet they're probably so they're like, like, okay, give them a little more energy. There's probably oh, some like, poor yeah. lady who's had no clue who I was at all. And she's like, what? who gave this guy a children's book? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's got some people I don't trapped think in his head. He's ever been around a kid at all. <laughs> yeah. We got a great episode for you guys. We're back. Correct opinions. Uh, we were talk. I want to chat about the new Mormon Housewives show about to come out. Okay, very excited. Um, we've I got saw some Twisters. Great- it's okay, Twisters. Oh, okay. We got to review the last show. We had a Durham was great, Shelter Kid moments, and more. So, sit back, relax, roll music. Correct opinion. Man, I have so much cool stuff in the works I want to tell the fans about. Go, go, like go. The special and where that maybe or the investments or like you know stuff. We could even read some of the children's book. Man, I should do it. I can't do it. Like people get mad if I just do it publicly. Well, I don't I so I guess I just won't. Because some of the stuff in the children's book is is cancelable, cancelable stuff. It would be You have to put it dangerous. Yeah, you have to pay for it. Yep. And so I guess I don't know. Is there any way to is there? Is there kind of like a 
like a secret well, club that you can pay to be only in. fans yes uh, oh n- well close oh dang it what um, is it ah. fansly kind of like that no it's called patreon dang it mm. we have one it's called it's our patreon <laughs> and, and i'll tell you what it's called it's still patreon <laughs> Patreon.com slash Trey Kennedy gets you access to a bonus episode of this podcast every week. Just double the pod, okay? And we're not only double the pod, but we we go deeper. We tell you stuff we don't tell everyone else, and it's silly. And then we're going to – and we show Katie's feet this time. Yep. yep. And, and apparently my, uh, the birth of our child. Live streaming it. Yes. Mm-hmm. So go to Patreon.com slash Trey Kennedy. GoPro everywhere. We really appreciate all. We keep, we keep having y'all join in. We're almost to 500 and we get to 1,000. My parents are going to come in the studio. We're Have you chit-chat. had a conversation with them about that yet? Doesn't matter. Okay. Th- this is the conversation right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So patreon.com slash Trey Kennedy. Go sign up today. We'll see you in there. Thanks for the love, y'all. I'm just going to start with a few fan emails. Guys, we have the new um, treykennedy.com slash correct opinions. It's a brilliant um, website. website <laughs> where you can easily get a hold of us. Okay. So a few people chimed in. They said, um, Calvin said, Having Dusty Slay on the show was awesome. I'd never heard of him before, but my wife and I loved the interview so much, we went and binged all his stuff since. Hey. Thanks for having him on. Thanks for a podcast. Thanks, Calvin. That's, we, that's great. That makes me feel good. If we have any other, other comedians with Netflix specials listening right now, let it be known. You will find new audience yeah. members. You come on Correct Opinions. Jerry. <laughs> Bill. Bill. Dave. Thanks, mate. Katie wrote in. How many Katies think we have? Spelled the classic a way. Bazillion. I'd say 1,500 Katie's are this thing right now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she the she says, hey, Trey, Katie, Jarek, and FM Derek. Oh, Jer- cool. Oh. Did you just say Jarek? Jake and did I? You said <laughs> she, you <laughs> FM said Derek. Jarek. <laughs> cool little abbreviation. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming to Durham. I've been a recti since episode one. Wow. Whoa. What's up, Katie? And bought her tickets the first day went on sale. We enjoyed the show so much. Um, my husband told me on the way home that I was laughing so hard he was worried I might experience a medical event. Wow. And she said, I immediately joined the Patreon right when I got home. Oh, wow. So that's that's an effect. Just, wow. She's like, I got to get more of this. Crap. Guy. We have to go back on the road now to get Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, they're like, what? They're like, Dane Trey, why are you touring so much? You just, I'm like, well, we're just trying to get to a thousand it's patrons. It's a pretty good funnel for Patreon randomly. <laughs> yeah. I got to stop eating donuts again. Ugh. <laughs> she says, really sorry about Christopher and his... AAA friends yeah. being grade A jerks to try. If yeah, you, you had a rough do, time. <laughs> okay, I would like it from y'all's perspective because I, I got a bunch of, you know, in the moment you're just like, I don't know, you're just kind of moving on. I don't care. But I got so many DMs and I think it's partly because our audience is so nice. Yeah. And it's filled with so many sweet, uh, particular, maybe mom type figures who were like, wait, I did not. Trey, I'm so sorry they talked to you that way. <laughs> but I just, I was just messed with these dudes. They were kind of being tools and I moved on. What, what, what was the perspective? So I obviously can't hear what the audience is saying. I can only hear your mm. responses. But to me, it sounded like I know your tone enough. Where to me, it sounded like this is his last show. I'm sure he has certain expectations for it. And these dudes are not only giving him back bad crowd work answers, but they're giving him answers that are like annoying to like move the show along. Yes. And it seemed like in your response, you were just like, dude, come on. Like, because you made some comment you're like, see, it's not as easy as it looks. Like some kind of like sassy remark. I'm yeah, like, this yeah, dude's trying to be a comedian terrible. and he, he can't cut it. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. So I didn't know if you were having a rough time or if you were at just. What did you what, did you catch it, Derek? Yeah, yeah. He tried to be funny with. Uh, he said a little disappointing to a fellow patriot, probably, but he tried to. <laughs> he out of go nowhere hard. said like, uh, "Yeah, it was just a classic weirdo guy." Where completely unrelated to the question, he out of nowhere just said something like, "Well, I got the second vaccine and now I'm gay." Yeah. It, oh. And then I just kind of stood there, like, like, like just looked around. It, it felt all, as though two thousand people were all like, "What." What, what we all you? seriously <laughs> yeah like i'll do the weird funny lines probably and yeah. you just answer the question um but yeah i don't know it was didn't you bizarre. have someone else who like because he was he was i the the crowd work was like who doesn't want kids this dude raised his hand i want kids what he's like my wife's at home so a little banter like oh you left your you wife know, how funny wow most most guys get drunk here good for you who you're with and it was like abraham antonio and anthony mm-hmm. i was like what's going on and it was just like guys night and then uh, then they were. I was genuinely trying to be funny, and then they started saying weird, weird gay jokes. I was like, "All right, I guess we're not. We're done talking." Was, was there a separate guy who didn't uh, didn't want to be there or didn't know who you were or something like that? Yeah, I think one of them like, "What? Are you just guys big fans?" And some guys like, "Never heard of you." The other, they were trying to like be funny back. Me, or cool. Yeah, yeah. It was like <laughs> I feel that's, like that's a moment like that. It's 
you know, people want to say, oh, Tra- wow, Trail, your mom fans. But people don't say that. But I, I'm very, <laughs> I'm mostly grateful for the, at least having a good chunk of female fans. These like dude only comedians, they probably deal with so many tools trying to be like, like dude, just let me be the funny guy in the room. It's true. Please. We don't have to deal with too much. I also feel like it's a very classic guy thing Go with another guy to be like, yeah, I didn't know who you were. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't even know. Because yeah, we get that in person sometimes. Yeah. Hey, my friend wants to say hi. By the way, I don't even know I who you are. Right. Okay, that's why you would never say that to any other person. Yes. Did, you hear any, so did you hear anything else? Was that kind of it? And then I moved on. Yeah, uh, with him, you, you also were thrown to the opposite end too later on. So I felt I did remember that. I felt that's what I was more focused on. I was like, oh no, did I? Because you know, you, some, you get on stage and some. Do you ever like reflect on your crowd work? You're like, I mean, it was just. You're up there saying what's coming to the top of your head. Oh, I wish I hadn't said that. Yeah, one time I said something racially charged that I wish I could have taken. Yeah, back. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Sioux Falls. I, I'm sorry. It's just this was dumb. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I had a little bit of one in Durham where I was like, "Who's you know who got anyone here like married or whatever?" And some someone raised their hand. I'm like, "What? What's up? What's your name?" Nathan. I'm like Nathan. I could couldn't quite hear it. it like oh, Nathan. Oh yeah. This but part. it was a it was a female voice saying I Nathan. Forgot about this. So in my head, I'm thinking maybe I'm still not hearing the name right, or it's just I don't know. So then I'm like, you like who triple you, who you're here with yeah. like my wife. So then I'm like, well, I guess maybe it's the Nathan sounds like a girl with a wife, and so I'm, and you could feel the tension in the room. So I try to be funny, like, I'm sorry, I'm confused. Sounds like a girl, and then I felt like the room was just kind of like, oh. Like this poor guy just has a high pitched voice. Yeah, or or it could have legit been a trans person or yeah, something. I don't yeah. know. And I I felt it was best just to kind of be like, well, I'm glad you guys are here. Give it up for him. I moved on. Oh. Like, <laughs> help me out here, you know. Nathan, you but then yeah, so many people were so many people were worried about Christopher and his his buddies. I was like, all right, I guess. I think that helped. What if I, I feel really... bad about it because I was like, oh, I don't. Should have really went in, Nathan. Nathan, but you look like a girl, and you don't have an Adam's apple. How's that, Adam? Yeah. Shine, house lights on. <laughs> Let me see it. Let me see it. I know that was one. Of <laughs> if you would have really thought that the uh, joke that Anthony made was funny, then that would have put you maybe on a certain side. That yeah, that would have way worse. But, way worse. Yeah. So sorry, Nathan. I love you. I I didn't know what to. I don't know. I was trying to be funny, and sometimes you're not. You're not always funny. And sometimes you do get into a situation where you can't see or hear them, and everyone's looking at you. Could, I was like, I need to figure really, this out. It's a girl's voice, like, his name. and then I, by the crowd's reaction, I felt like I got a confirmation, like something's up. Move on, yeah. <laughs> so, just move on. You know, I was like, oh, <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. So I really do hope Nathan uh, yeah. laughed that off, but uh, if that was indeed the name, because I was struggling to hear. What was the name? the The guy you did the um, homeschooler crowd work with? I don't know if anything. Necessarily, he like, was good, yeah. Kyle. Yeah, Kyle. So he said he like he was in a PhD program at Duke and was only like it was like a teenager, some oh, like crazy weird. Yeah, good for him. Intense homeschooler. I went up to the lobby after the show, saying what's up to fans. Kyle's one of them. I didn't know he was the homeschool guy, but he was like, "Hey, man, I don't need a picture or anything. I just want to shake your hand and say like you did a great job tonight." I was See, like, "Awesome, man. PhD, great guy, very smart guy. Duke yeah. homeschool." We talked for twenty seconds. I'm like, "All right, man, have a good night." And then. There are women behind Kyle like, that's Kyle. Oh, my gosh. Wait, Jake, you don't want a picture with Kyle? I'm like, wait, me? <laughs> I'm, they're like, he's the homeschooler. You're like, like actually get insecure. Like, no, 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 no. I I was doing the show, though. Like, <laughs> well, I did feel like I needed to clarify. I was like, no, 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 I understand. I was like, but Trey was the one doing crowd work with him. Like, I don't so have I, any kind of, like, attachment yeah, to yeah. Kyle. Like, I think he's a loser. <laughs> you guys have to get a picture. And then Kyle doesn't want one. I don't want one. Oh. And then now we're like, both of us Dang don't it. want this. Please leave us alone. That's funny. Yeah, oh, that man. was a funny moment in the lobby. I do I do think I've heard, like, that when there are those, like, good crowd work moments with a certain person, I've heard about them. Like, they, like, low-key take fan photos in the lobby. <laughs> like, like, he was the, it was Kyle. He talked to him three times. That's funny. <laughs> it was fun. So, uh, thank you. This was, yeah, again, Katie for bringing that up. She just going to say, she, if this makes you feel better, again, this is a female audience, very yeah. nice. But you feel better that I saw this guy over there with his wife who was legit Googling you because he'd never even heard of you. <laughs> By the end of the show, he was laughing so hard. Mm-hmm. I also like how the female fans are like, Trey had a rough time with that guy and he probably needs some encouragement. Yeah. <laughs> and, I'll toss in a few extra compliments. And, yep, and they're exactly right. So thank you. <laughs> Casey messaged in. 
Hey, Trey, Jake, Katie, and family, and Derek, I was also at Durham show. And I won't lie, I felt a lot of pressure. I kept looking around at the audience before the show. And I thought to myself, y'all better not embarrass me. You better uh, you better laugh at everything these guys say. <laughs> And uh, I think they passed the vibe check, minus all the males you happen to call out that came without a woman. And he's rough, rough, rough seeing the guys again. Um, and he's like, also, I won't lie, when the fireworks went, started going off, all I could think of was the helicopter story. <laughs> and I thought Durham might be next up. Good show and prayers for safe delivery at the next baby. Thanks, Casey. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. There was yeah. Shout out Tom, tour manager Tom. This is why you pay him the big bucks. He goes, hey, heads up across the street. There's an event. There's a fireworks show. That's going to happen during your set. <laughs> And it's just some, yeah. Yeah, that's how, did what, he, it, how did he get that intel? I, I don't know. There were train tracks across the street. Well, luckily, yeah. I'm sure someone at the venue thought to give a heads up, and he told me. And yeah, I mean, 40 minutes in, there's just a there's a fireworks show <laughs> near the building that eventually you can't ignore. And I was just like, what's happening? And I, <laughs> so thank God. If, if that, if I didn't know, I would have just I would have had no clue what was going on. Yeah. Kamala was having a rally nearby. You might have associated that something... There, was happening. Pablo was having a rally down the street. Um, and we'd played a show in Florida a while back where Trump was having a rally. So <laughs> that was insane. We like to get near him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just to pop in. <laughs> Just to be so, near. But wow, what a great show. What a great end, great place to end. We had a nice team dinner afterwards. Very sad Katie wasn't around. She's so pregnant. And she yeah. really, we were going to really, really make it work. I was like, let's just really think about it. You're so big. You're so tired. I'm so big. You're so... <laughs> you couldn't sit in the airplane seat. You wouldn't fit. <laughs> they don't make seat belts just... big enough. I'm not going to have you pay for first class with me. <laughs> <laughs> have to put the seat belt around your neck or something. And, yeah. and I was like, it's just going to be 12 dudes eating steak and drinking wine at 10.30 p.m. And you're probably going to sit there going, I don't, I don't eat steak or drink wine. <laughs> and I'm so tired. It would have been four so flights for one dinner. Home. Yes, she came. Yeah, really. So <laughs> came home. She had a couple little gifts for me. I think I saw Rachel and you celebrated as well. Went to the drive-in movie. Wow, oh, luck, lucky guys we are. Yeah, sweet ladies. What movie? Uh, we saw Twisters. Okay, we almost pulled the trigger watching. We were trying to watch a movie last night. We almost went for it in our living room. How was it? Yeah, because people have kind of said good things about it. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's been a while, you know, since people are like, "You got to see this." Um, so first of all, going to a drive-in is a fun experience. It's almost like apocalyptic. They only take cash. All the lights are off. So if you want to like go to the bathroom or throw away trash, like it just, it's just people walking around gravel using their headlights to get out. It felt like War of the Worlds almost. Just like we're all, we have our own currency here. And there's like a, <laughs> you know, a mayor who Do like self-efficient. The funnel cakes and snow cones. <laughs> nice. Wow. Yeah. We, we brought chilies and a table and a couple board games. So the experience was great. Perfect weather, cozy vibes. You brought you played board games while you watched a movie? No, yeah, that's a good point of clarification. <laughs> Not so they opened we, the gates at 7. We brought seven. Our laptops. <laughs> yeah. I had a fully Put charged iPad, um, and so I watched Netflix. Um, they opened the gates at 7. The movie comes on at 8.30. First come, first serve. So like, we want to be near the screen. Oh, I see. Fun, fun. So you kind of pass the time a little bit. Um, okay. So the experience was fun. The movie... I, I wanted to like it. Is you it don't need classic, to see it. Is it just like two hours of tornadoes and visual effects? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of tornadoes. It's like a rock movie, but with in Oklahoma. And yeah. And without him. Dude, I mean, Stillwater's in there. Tulsa's in there. Mm. Enid's in there. I mean, Come you would on, love Enid. all the, the Oklahoma towns I mentioned. I Stillwater gets you shredded, though. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't like that part. <laughs> you see any Marshallese people? What's that? What? Enid's known for the Marshallese. Marshall mm -hmm. Islands, the U.S. You know how the U.S. likes to, like... Oh, like uninhabited islands that like go mess with them? Right. They like to be like, oh, there's are not islands. uninhabited, uh, let's, uncontacted let's like, tribes. Let's like nuke it and ruin their lives. Yeah. And they're like, as a thank you, we're going to move you to Enid. <laughs> That's what we did to them. Really? Yeah. I have buddies from there. They're, like, it's a bit, they're all there, Marshallese. And is it just a tribe of just like... Marshall Islands. I don't know where that is. Yeah. Some tiny island somewhere that we did go to test weapons. And then we're like, oh, shoot, they got to can't live here anymore. I've never and heard of that. they moved all these... <laughs> Yeah. I think we use it for nuclear Fun waste fact. storage too now. Sure. So, yeah. Something. That's wild. Well, Enid also got shredded. So I'm sorry. Well, but so now where are the Marshallese? Did all They're of going Oklahoma through get shredded? Most of it. The whole movie is just, there's tornadoes happening It's a documentary. Yeah. Every yeah. single day in this movie, there is a tornado. Every day. Yeah. They don't address the, like, the, the nation's under attack by the <laughs> air. Every day there's a tornado. They, they say F5 a lot? 
they they say EF a lot. I'm like, when oh, did it become it EF? Oh, it did change the EF. Yeah, that's like right. It, back in my day, it was F2, F4. It's kind of like QB rating. That's a like QBR. Now we do QBR. Uh, yeah, okay, okay whatever. Just, yeah, always two is that how the old Twister movie is? Like where there's one like every day? I've never this seen This seemed one. like way more tornadoes than the first Twister. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, Twister, but, I think, was just one big one. <laughs> yeah, just one at the end. Yeah, these are just kind of a cluster. Okay. It was similar to the old one where they're like, they're trying to put stuff in the tornado to learn about it. Um, the The leading expert in the world of tornadoes is like a 22 year old hot girl which is like that's crazy <laughs> yeah <laughs> and uh no, everyone in england everyone trust who's that I'm not, hey, still water well, some of my homies are out there just yeah keep preaching gary england he's a legend in the tornado world <laughs> oh is he he was the first guy to so, get swept it's, up it's in, fascinating. One. in oklahoma because oklahoma <clears throat> truly specifically it just tornado they they nearly do happen every day it's Shocking. You're thinking earthquake, like, tornado, fracking. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> and so they, torna- Oklahoma was on the forefront of like tornado tracking technology. Okay. So if you can imagine back, not even back in like the 30s and stuff. Okay. You just look out your window and be like, the tornado's right there. <laughs> we didn't and, know about yeah, it, but yeah. there it is. <laughs> yeah. And so they developed this technology. And Gary England was the first. He was like a tornado genius who helped bring it. And then he was like our celebrity tornado guy growing up. Okay. Like, Gary, we gotta listen to Gary, man. Gary's telling us to take cover. And he made millions of dollars from this. So this girl is this, Gary. Dang. She's female yeah, Gary. Gary wasn't that hot. Yeah, she... Um, Which would be distracting. You wouldn't want a hot tornado girl. She pops on the news. Like, you guys, here's the deal. She's got her shoes off. She's rubbing her feet together. You know, that's yeah. distracting. She's you don't huge. know if she says F2 or F5. You're just... She looks like an F10 to you. Yeah. You know? <laughs> But yeah, she's like the expert and all these other people. It, and she's also like, she's like one with the weather. Like she doesn't use any instruments. She just goes there and stares. And she's oh, like, wow. west, we need to go west. Like, But the data says we need to go east. <laughs> we got to go west. Whoa. She's like a dog or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is there trouble, boy? They want to make it realistic. They should have found like a Uncle Buck with overalls on him. And yeah. Like, he's got he's a got bad a- knee. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, I yeah. swear. I swear. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. I can't bend it all the way. <laughs> so it's coming here two days from now. It's going to be big. Yeah. It's just, uh, yeah, it's what you expect. Just like everything is the, like just so hyperbolic. It's to the extreme. This guy's got, Glenn Powell's got a truck. And he's hot. Everyone's hot. It, it can. Tornadoes are swirling. It has like two large screws. So it can screw the truck into the ground. What? So that way, so he likes, Glenn Powell's like kind of fun. He's a like YouTuber. Like one of those beach attendants with like umbrellas. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it just like, he presses a button in his truck and it just like, <gasps> yeah, he's in the like ground now. Yeah. yeah. He's like a, I don't know. Like if he's tilling the ground. Easy, he's yeah. fracking himself. So he's like five feet into the ground because he likes to uh, park himself in the path of the tornado. And then he just like sits there and just like lets a tornado go. Let over me guess. Him. Does he fall in love with the tornado girl? Oh, yeah. And let me get, do, do they make love in a tornado? <laughs> <laughs> I was rooting for it. <laughs> Much louder than anyone else. I will say not even a kiss, even though they do like kind of end up together. No kiss. Huh. No kisses in the whole movie. No. Wow. That was kind of interesting. interesting. Got to keep it serious. It's tornadoes. True. Yeah. At, at one point business. you said they're putting stuff in the tornado to learn about it. So they're yeah, like, the, the like, original... a, like Sparky and like how far does he go? Yeah, let's put it like, like an air shot. tag on my like, dog. Too perfect. <laughs> See where he ends up. The tornado trick shot. What's up, guys? We've got a basketball goal this 18 miles away. Is the <laughs> Twister rocket shot. You know, the original Twister, they had like Dorothy, all those like little Pepsi cans. I saw this movie a long time ago, but they're trying to like learn how, what makes a tornado tornado. This time they're trying to tame the tornado. So Ooh. the whole goal is to make a tornado stop. Stop. Yeah. So what were they putting in the tornado to make it stop? A lot of big words that they don't really ever explain to you. Mm. Oh, I think the polycarbonate here. And they don't ever explain where they're getting this goo from. I always wonder, like, what's the supply, the supply chain of the goo? They got 25 barrels of this white goo. Goo? And it's, yeah. <laughs> it is goo. It's sounding worse. You watch this movie and try to tell me it doesn't look like goo. So they're like, let's Just put a bunch some of Elmer's, Elmer's glue. glue in it. <laughs> so, yeah, it's white goop. You try spin around with glue all over you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I bet you can. Yeah. <laughs> also, just from a mechanical standpoint, you know, they're having tr- like instead of just like unhitching the trailer with the barrels of goo on it, they're like, well, let's just get nearby. And then he presses another button on his truck and all of the lids of the like 55 gallon barrels, they're all like CO2 sealed or whatever. So he presses the button and they like, just pop off. I'm like, this is a normal trash can. How are you rigging this up? Yeah. 24 barrels, one button. How, I didn't you didn't show me you rigging that up. I'm very curious. 
how you did this. Sounds anyway, like a good movie. Yeah, they did tame it in the end. It's um, like they had AI edited it a little bit or something. There is a lot of CGI. This CGI is pretty good, though. It's it. That part's nice. The twisters mm. look real. A lot of people die. A lot of people get swept oh, up. Wow. Opening scene, only two out of the like six people survive it. Did the, so wow. Don't get attached. Did the guy in the Bronco survive? That was my friend growing up who rode the Bronco in the opening scene. Oh, that's oh, cool. Oh, probably not. He oh, died, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dang. Yeah, I didn't even know Dang his name. It, dude. Well, um, I'll tell you. Okay. But, but well, pretty fun. The, yeah, thanks for the review. I'll tell you what I'm excited to watch. Play this uh, trailer here. The Mormon show, like Mormon Housewives. I don't know what they're actually calling it. It's coming to Hulu. You've seen this? Oh, yeah. Derek was telling me about this uh, this past weekend. I am. You have my word, Recti. So I'm going to watch it. I'm going to bring you my thoughts every week. This is coming out uh, in September. Oh, because remember the mo- like the weird TikTok drama where it's like all those Mormon moms made videos and it came out that they were swinging and cheating on each other. It was weird. And so now Hulu's like, we'll pay a bunch of money to really talk to, about it. <laughs> to go crazy with it. Okay, watch. I love the Mormon church, but there are a lot of rules that we have to follow. We were raised to be these housewives for the men, serving their every desire have kids by the time you're 21 or in my case at 16 well oh. i'm like this show me what you're working with oh. 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 i created mom talk oh, wow. it's a group of mormon moms making tiktoks it started with whitney macy michaela and i we're breaking a norm we are trying to change the stigma of gender roles in the mormon culture that's what scares me in the church we have <laughs> rules for a reason macy i need you to twerk your show me what you want from us my goal is really just to be able to provide for my family who is currently the breadwinner at home all of us really that's right we blew up overnight two million followers nine million views whoa whoa, whoa. it's been really crazy for us <laughs> wait what <laughs> Now there's a fight for mom talk. <sighs> you guys can't keep doing this. The drama is now with She's the husbands. Again. The group is important to me. Being divorced and taking care of two kids would be kind of tough, so you make the decision. It feels like they're stuck in. I love the Mormon wow. church. Wow, what a hype video. Oh, yeah, my Sam Smith. The, in the Sam background. Smith, like, kind of remix. I don't know that you get it <laughs> That was awesome. So, wait, I. So, she had a baby at 16? Seems like that, that was a good part to fixate on. I, <laughs> I, I did have more questions. <laughs> I didn't know if I don't know if they, a How lot old of are they would now? support that. Hmm? How old know. are they now? I don't know. They still look pretty good, so probably mid twenties. Trey, <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm joking. It look all right to me. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna watch. I hadn't seen any trailers or anything. That looks actually very good. <laughs> you have Hulu Premium or whatever it is. You still have the uh, ads. I do. That's nice. I, we, Katie, proud of me. Katie and I recently, well, Katie did. Shout out Katie. She finally just went through a credit card statement and we deleted like three things we were paying for we didn't know. All right. It's not a good feeling when you're like, we basically kind of just made like hundreds of dollars. Let's go get some donuts. Just, yeah. I mean, yeah. We were going to accidentally spend this. I kind of did that because we had a bunch of fraud on our cards. So That's I had to Wall do Street it. Journal. I was subscribed. Not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. Didn't read a single article. Yeah. Paid them for I don't know how many months. Who knows? Yeah. I've recently been watching some stuff on Hulu, and when they hit me with like a two minute long ad in the middle of a documentary, oh, yeah. I want to scream. So I think I'm going to pay. I'm going to pony up and get the Hulu premium. Netflix, Netflix has like a with ads service, don't they? Oh, do they? Maybe or did I've, they try that and get rid of it because people were so furious? Because now that now they're trying to sl- low key slide the ads in. And yeah. then I saw they're trying to team up. Like everyone thought we were going to do the cable thing, but Netflix did put their foot down. They're like, we're not teaming up with anybody. Good. We're the goats. Lone Ranger. Respect. But it's we're, tough. we got everything. We have a, uh, I realized I had Peacock on accident, but the Olympics were there, and I was glad I had it. You good. But now I need to we not. We should have cancel it. it. But the well, Steph Curry show is coming out. And there's going to be at least one or two football games this year on Peacock. Oh, you got to get it for your month. Really Speaking us of, all of them. Steph Curry, we watched a movie this weekend that was not necessarily a good movie, but Irish, what is it called? Irish Wish? Irish, Irish Wish, Wish, Lindsay Lohan. Irish Lindsay Wish. Lohan. And one of the um, actresses in there is Aisha Curry. Oh, really? I, yeah, it was funny. I didn't know she was mm-hmm. doing that. Me neither. Lindsay Lohan, she's, she's I Irish? guess she's the new 
uh, like Golden Girl for the horrible Netflix rom coms. Cool. I'm all for it. Yeah. It's great. She is everything, like Hallmark style movie. They hit okay. us with one in the middle of the year, which was interesting. Yeah, they were like, we need, they, yeah, that was very smart of them. Aisha Curry was one of Lindsay's bridesmaids, one of her best friends. Irish Wish, mm-hmm. Aisha Curry. That's funny. <clears throat> yeah. Why'd you guys watch that? We love a good. We I, love a good like. She loves. She bad. She rom- loves predictable. A good, just bad rom com, and I, I'm. I'll buy in. Like a classic Hallmark, just like this is so. None of this is realistic. But I'll be honest. All. It was so. I wasn't that into it. Something about the holidays. I'm. There. You're so cold. There's nothing better to do, <laughs> and it's just kind of fun. But I wasn't. It was what you thought. It was fun. If I get emailed another uh, various book. About diggers, <laughs> they just keep. I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> there are a lot but yeah, of no them. one ever talks about diggers. Why are we? Why are we hammer this in kids' brains? Uh, maybe what's we, a vacuum truck? I mean, to I don't, be, to, I don't but think... in all fairness, if that existed, Thomas's head would explode. <laughs> <laughs> this might be his two favorite things. <laughs> that is true. He loves a vacuum and he loves trucks. So <laughs> his that. head would explode. His head would explode. Have you guys heard Thomas's vacuum impression? No, that would be. It'd be great to hear it right now. You gonna call him? Uh, yeah, I'm going to give him a call. Here, wait, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, uh, he just sleeps with you his cell phone hear? in his crib. Yeah, I'm just going to FaceTime real quick. <laughs> this is a vacuum impression. <laughs> Sounds just like one. That's pretty good, isn't so, it? So when I vacuum, he... <laughs> <laughs> and it is loud. I mean, he is... It's an incredible full, volume. Yes, full volume. So he gets his... um. His golf club, that's his vacuum. So while I vacuum, he gets his golf club. He, just he goes, screams. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he understands what you're doing? Like you try to like put dirt down and then clean yeah, it up? Okay, because he, good. he'll see like, he's very particular about like dirt and stuff on the ground. I don't know if you saw our recycling outside. They didn't get all of it. And so oh, now there's just a bunch on. in the street. You need a vacuum truck. Come on. We need a vacuum yeah. truck. But we went out to the front porch and Thomas, he would not let it go. He was like... It's messy. Yeah, it's he dirty. hates littering. Yeah. And good I was for like, him. that's going to be a job for dad, for not me. <laughs> it is good for him. Vacuum truck. Vacuum truck. Yeah, I don't know what that recti was thinking, but um, okay, Jake. <laughs> you got some content for us. Um, and I'm very excited about it. Yes, I've got some videos to react to. Um, first, just real quick, I thought of this. I saw a guy yesterday at uh, i got seated you know when church is so full you have to use an usher i don't, I don't really mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. having someone else having like i can find a seat right. and they always see you right next to someone i sit right next to someone and uh during like the meet and greet he's like by the way big fan of the big fan of the podcast oh, i was cool. like oh dude what are the odds i sat next to someone um and then oh, the church meet and greet <laughs> yeah where they're like, where they're like all right get up and you know say hello somebody, yeah. um and then uh after church he was like um yeah, dude, love the podcast. Been listening since the beginning. I was like, that's awesome, dude. He's like, what's what's the guy's name you do it with? So I was like, oh, interesting. I was like, Brad? Thinking that would be the name most likely to forget. No, no. As I go, Trey? He's like, yes, dude, Trey. It cracks me up. <laughs> I was like, since the beginning? Yeah. This week, every week, an hour a week. <laughs> what are y'all's names? <laughs> <laughs> Our names are You never know what people are going to say. <laughs> They're irrelevant. Yeah. Uh, I'm church guy and funny guy and then mm-hmm. big girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Girl. That's, yeah. <laughs> I'd love He's like, it's great. Stick. So good to feet you, meet you. Um, <laughs> I love the podcast so much. Video version. Um, yeah, I've got some videos to react to. Let's start with this uh, pink-haired person. Uh, she got my attention because her own. You're welcome at the podcast. Yeah, welcome. her own caption says, um, "Since y'all are already calling me Thaley Williams." Um, which is a, a take <laughs> okay, on the, got the it. Paramore Paint singer picture. Haley Williams. Uh, I will say she kind of crushes the song, but um, so we'll listen to it for a little bit, and then I really want to read you the comments. Okay, Daily Williams. Daily Williams all right. is hilarious. All right, so all of y'all are calling me Daily Williams. So let's find out. Let's find out. <laughs> Sounds pretty compressed and some autopilot, but still pretty good. Um, and so then the the comments say, uh, panic at the cis bro. Um, <laughs> 21 pronouns. Um, my chemical imbalance. That one <laughs> is uh, green they. Uh, blink, yep. blink one eight a dude. Um, one eight a dude. <laughs> one eight. One eight. 
Blink one ain't a dude. A oh, one ain't a dude. Okay. <laughs> um, sis slash sis them of a down. That's really clever. Um, Les Zeppelin. <laughs> <laughs> People really went in. It's amazing it what they like thought of. Pun, yeah. yeah. Comment. People are people are creative. <laughs> Credence Queerwater. <laughs> um, that one's pretty hilarious. Um, and yeah, good comments, good vocals. You know, rarely I, I feel like we the internet really came together here. <laughs> so yeah, food, uh, I'm trying to think. Para para more genders. <laughs> She, like, she's like, let's find out. What does let's find out mean? Let's find out if I am they, them. It's a good voice. And sing. I just love the thought of, what, what if she makes it? And like, how'd you get your start? She's like. I leaned into hateful I comments. leaned into, <laughs> it was, um, <laughs> you know, just like intersex puns in my comments <laughs> and just gender stuff. Honestly, she does have, she's got a, she's content farming. Cause now she can be like, oh really? I'm pansexual to disco. Let's find out. Let's find out. And then sings a panic at the disco song. Yeah. And then someone else comments, iron Thaden. And she's like, oh, am I? Let's find <laughs> out. <laughs> she just keeps getting to do this. I mean, she has like 10 videos just based off of this one. Yeah. Just every artist that comments. Trans Ferdinand. There you go. There's another one. Sing that song. <laughs> Someone's like, Thaley is actually a sick name though. Thaley is kind of <laughs> sick. I, I could see that get popping up on a baby names list. Daily, yeah. Daily, dude. Um. Anyway, that one's kind of kind of fun. Um. She seems like she's a good sport. Now, this guy, Derek, do you want to click on the video above that? This is uh, I think I'm early on this guy. He doesn't have too many followers yet, but he's uh, he's here to help people. Being early on a guy is big. Yep. Yep. Um. Forget his name. He's here to help. He's here to help. That's all I'm gonna say. He's here to help. Have you ever wondered what it looks like from the side when you take a seat at the dinner table? Most of you will be leaning over the chair, pulling it over, then coming in and make it look effortless. Take that chair, serve you. How does it look? <laughs> Have you ever wondered? <laughs> What? Pretty cool. <laughs> How many followers does he have? He has, he does, he's like 40,000 or something. Oh, so, that's early. So people have started to find him. So this is his whole content. So first of all, if you go back in that video, Derek, start from the beginning. <laughs> he's, the, have you ever wondered what you look like from a side profile getting in a chair? Only if you are so very self-conscious. Yes. <laughs> well, he, he did look way cooler the way he did it. He made the chair serve him. Yeah, make the chair serve you. All right, so if you notice, look at the outdoor lighting. Like this video starts at, I don't know, 8 p.m. Sure. Sunset's about to start. And then let's, let's watch the video one more time. Have you ever wonder what it looks like from the side when you take a seat at the dinner table? Most of you will be leaning over the chair. Okay. The now, now it's just no, no, midnight. Did you see the lights? Yes. Okay, look how dark yes. it is outside. Make it. Did it take him two hours to shoot this video? <laughs> That's actually kind of crazy. Like at, at least funny, an hour but... has transpired from the start of the video did he to get the caught up with something. Yeah, did, did just numerous people like there's someone else that needs help with their chair. I guess. <laughs> sorry, I, let me go. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> what what could have ha happened that delayed that video an hour? I mean, it, it's legitimately at least an hour. Which is hilarious. I love I'm, that piece of the video. I'm not. I'm not surprised. <laughs> he is, he, he's, he, he's, he's working so he's hard. He's that on it. concerned about the way he pulls out his chair. Do you know he's how many do times multiple he did? Yeah, I come he in this podcast like take. just trying to get in the chair. Like, Boo! You look bad from the side. That's what we like always this, say. Which was you walk up and you make the chair serve you. <laughs> <laughs> That's piece how it's of, done. Piece of crap chair. My chair. <laughs> One hour later, <laughs> smack into the ground. Yeah. Yeah. So he took a lot. He, let's, he, let's he see some other. Let's see hurt. some other videos. I was going to say. He had to, go, he had to go number two. And he's just, you You accidentally open it. He doesn't lock it because he's That's, a man. Yeah. yeah, he's alpha male. Yeah, he wants you to see him. You walk in and he's just <laughs> pooping like this. He's pooping doing lat pull downs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, oh, you're hunched over. Elbows on your knees on your phone. I ticked off like this. <laughs> okay. poop like this. We did not need to turn this into a... I have a medicine ball over my head. Mm -hmm. We did not need to turn this into a poop thing. Let's move mm -hmm. on to another video. It is funny. The comments are trying to bait him into other like terrible videos. And they're just like, can you show us how to pick up dog poop and make it look like the poop is serving you? Yeah. <laughs> can you do a tutorial on how to grab a piece of paper that keeps blowing away from you? Love your videos. Can That's you show right. us how to kiss a man? <laughs> um, <laughs> 
Most of you do it like this. Uh, so Derek, you want to go to his like reels tab and see the other ones that are pinned. There are some of, they're even like, so pulling out a chair, hey, at least that happens once a day probably. He starts to really niche down the content. Okay, mm. so I want you to see these other two pinned videos from, uh, what's this guy's name? Oh, Planet Mike. What a, what a name. He's like, yeah, do you ever have to meet a guy in a wheelchair and you have to lean down like a loser? <laughs> Dude, it's like, how many, that doesn't happen to me that often. Yeah. You, how often do you meet wheelchair man? Light bulb and your lamp <laughs> go out when you're on a cruise. Dude, that's so specific. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm All excited. right, here's this one. Here I am. Grabbing it like an ape and coming to business meeting. Make sure not to use underhand grip when carrying the folder. Making it all about the folder, but not about yourself. You grab the folder approaching the business meeting in this manner. How does it look? <laughs> How does it look? The, the way he sat down. A million views. How to hold a folder. You know. <laughs> That is a cooler way to hold the floor. <laughs> you, oh, what? You hunch in? Like, like a, an like ape. A, like an ape. Is uh, that how apes carry stuff? A hot start to the video. <laughs> is there an, okay, is there one? of the one? comments says, I carry it around in my mouth like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> is that bad? <laughs> All right, yeah, then there's one more. First, I don't lean over it. Actually, use my whole body. Oh, when I'm trying to shift, I'm not putting my head there and then moving. The proper way to do it, get up, shift the whole body with your head, continue the movement. And it's pathetic if you drop some and you start, stop being looking and acting frustrated. <laughs> he like edited himself to make it seem like you have more broken English than he does. Yeah. He like cut what, himself off. What loser drops the bag in the first place is my biggest. Yeah. Man, this so guy. really self-conscious. Just, I just picture seeing him in the airport drop his bag and then just like really think through like how do I? It's, it's go time. Yeah, <laughs> we're training for. And he's just doing it wrong three times. Yeah. Crap! How do I do it confidently? I look like an ape. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember how to do this confidently. <laughs> no, that's not it. That's not it. <laughs> I. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what. Hey, is he? There's no way he's, he's got jacked. It. He's jacked. His form in the gym's got to be unbelievable. I mean, that's why it's so all jacked. about his kinetics, how he looks. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I picked up my luggage wrong. Now I'm gay. <laughs> this is it's like Christopher from the show. Yeah, pathetic. If you pick your bag up, I leave mine and buy a new one. <laughs> uh, we also have a what's that guy's name? Uh, Planet Mike. Planet Mike underscore. Nothing after it. Planet Mike then the underscore. Yep. That's the best. I love that. Someone in the comments, I don't know if they're a licensed therapist or anything, but they say, this is a psychopathic trait called invisible audience. You think even when nobody is around or people are around, your your movement matters. How you're acting and talking is being judged when it's not. This is a psychopathic and narcissistic trait found by psychologist. Oh, that's interesting. A little psychologist. Yeah, Sounds that's very true. No right. one, unless you're hot, no one's looking at you. <laughs> and he's doing all right. 80. I don't know. He's a psychopath. I don't know how to see it. <laughs> how can you? Do you? Are you good at reading if a guy's hot? I'm not. I uh, I think I do all right. I actually had a buddy text me last night. Let me see. If it, last night at eight sixteen p.m., my buddy Garrett texts me. I'm out on Glenn Powell. You think he's hot or no? <laughs> Just out of nowhere. Sure. Well, what do you? Do you guys or? talk about that? Oh yeah, a lot. Really? <laughs> and I, the way we do it though. Planet Mike would be proud. We don't do it in a way that we do it in an alpha. Yeah. Anytime we get up, our up high. Up high. Yep. And we look each other in the eye. Kind of. I make the hot guy serve me. Yeah. Yeah. What okay. after seeing Twisters, Glenn Powell? Hot or not? Um, I said, Rachel doesn't think he's that attractive, but I'm not out on him. I I, I think I like him. Hmm. It's this the only. I saw him as like weird. the side guy in Top Gun. Who doesn't look good in Top Gun? I didn't see the Sydney Sweeney movie. Wouldn't have been looking at him anyway. <laughs> Am I right, fellas? <laughs> do, you have, do you know who Cindy Sweeney is? Yes. We I, actually I, tried. Why did you say it like that? Yeah. We actually <laughs> tried to watch that movie and we were just kind of like. Well, after I saw it, a, like a, the third naked person, I was It like, was just like, it was just to show both of their bodies over and over again. They show, well, they showed That's... me a Pepe. They showed a guy's Pepe. <laughs> and I, I was like, come on, man. Glenn's Pow Pow? Why? No, not uh -huh. him. And it was it was just a lot. It was like okay. kind of sucked anyway. But um, like I, you know, Tom Cruise was all over the Olympics and stuff. 
I was. I feel like I was seeing people on social like Tom Cruise. Wow, hot. Why? I was like, really? I thought it was Is so he? annoying. They kept showing him. I'm like, I do not care if he's there. The women's gold medal soccer match. Yeah, they kept he's showing up in the him. suite repeatedly. <laughs> it's like I don't care if he's there. Enough. Let's see. He's in Scientologist. He's a loser. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, you guys know any Scientologists? Uh, I've no. never met one. No, I wish I did. But okay, Leanne there's Remini. a huge building in downtown Kansas City. Yeah. yeah. So they, they do well. Are there a lot here or do they build those buildings to make it seem like there's a lot more of them? I think probably both. They're probably around. I mean, they're, they're probably not the type of people we run around with. I see. Mm-hmm. I see. I but, do wonder like, yeah, there's no way they're filling this building with right. people. Scientologists do prey on immigrants and getting oh, them to really? like join in uh, weird ways. So mm. they pray with them. That's awesome. <laughs> That's great. Welcome to the country. <laughs> Um. Yeah, I'd say Tom Cruise seven six point five. What about the beach scene in Top Gun? Oh, with with all the guys. Yeah, oh. he's in there. Just all of it. Ten. How? I didn't really watch it. How? How tall is he? Don't do this. Five like seven, I think. He's yeah, way shorter than Jake. Thanks. Yeah, you got it. I mean, way shorter <laughs> than me. Well, yeah. You know, he's no six seven black man like Derek. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, how long? 45. We got some beautiful segments brought to you by some of the Recties. Can we get some segments? Oops. Oh. Can we? Mm-hmm. Trey, we can do some, but we have to save the good ones for Patreon. Oh. You know what? I actually do have a, I just had a call from my agent. I have a special update. Oh. Tell us now. Tell okay, us now. So what he said to me was, uh, so the for the Patreon people, I just spoke a, a language. Uh, you know how <laughs> dogs can hear like the crazy whistle that we can't? Yes. If you subscribe to Patreon, you heard what I just said. Yep. And if you didn't, you you can't, you just can't hit it. It's like a podcast. It's an AI thing. It's like a dog whistle over at its own for only Patreon. So members. yeah. If you want to hear that and more, it's on the Patreon, patreon.com slash Trey Kennedy. Uh, every, every week, we have more people joining. Thank you, guys. That's and, really cool. And, you know, we're set, like we said, people come to the shows, they go, oh, my gosh, I need, I need to go to Patreon now. Uh-huh. So but now the tour's over, so now I'm a little worried. But we did just lock down an agreement with the hospital that uh, Family Man and Jake will be there when our daughter Eva's born. And that'll all be, it'll be live streamed on Patreon. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. So yeah. we've got that. Got that and yeah, the special. Yeah, got yeah. the special. Jake and Derek are going to be in the room. Yeah. When I mm-hmm. deliver. We mm-hmm. want clear audio. I mean, yeah. yeah. I don't want to have the ADR. She will have a live, live mic <laughs> on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That sounds like a dream come true, really. <laughs> it's wireless. Yeah. 32 bit float so it doesn't peak. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Won't peak. So. No peaking audio for, for when you're going. <laughs> <laughs> I've also agreed not to peak. Literally. Right, right. I, I'm, I won't look. I'm just there to I, talk. Cannot I cannot imagine having someone in there like filming. My sister asked me to film hers. That's and, what you said. Yeah, I, I just and it even don't do that. That's weird. Get it for Patreon. Even, <laughs> even pictures, like I guess maybe we didn't take pictures during delivery last time. But one of my friends was like, "You didn't." It's really cool to look back on. I was like, "Did you like seeing yourself like that?" I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I. Yeah, I guess I haven't gone through it. But I imagine if I was like the woman, I, I don't even like seeing like a video of myself a year ago. You know, yeah, I'm like, oh, yeah, I've changed. Yeah. Oh, I used to be, Gross. you know, fatter or whatever. Oh, I wasn't as funny. I can't imagine looking like that in that position, yeah. wanting to look back at it. The baby's the proof it happened. Right. I'll take pictures of the baby. Or like right when it comes out, but like you actually doing the like hard work. I don't know if I need. I don't know. And I was, and it's your first one. You're all, I did skin to skin. I don't know if I'm taking my shirt off again. Should I? You is don't that, want to help that, out the baby. Is that a difference maker, really? Because there's weird photos of me. I'm tired and like looking horrified and Does also have... shirtless holding a baby. That's what so if you weird. put it on your leg? It's still That's a skin. Good point. Yeah, you don't go chest. That's a good point. I, I think, think I'm just going to go a little no. calf calf muscle to the face <laughs> yeah, yeah, for a few seconds. Hair and a leg here. lock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's three it's points of contact. And it's like the, the heart. The third beat. nurse is like, what are you doing? I'm like, I. Uh, I've had this. I've had a kid before. I know what I'm doing. Skin is skin. Skin right. is skin, okay? I'm not Thanks. the best shape, so I like to keep my shirt on. Thank you. <laughs> no one sees those pictures except us. It's for her, so you guys can connect. No. He's hey, had a hey. lot of donuts. If he wants to leave his shirt <laughs> yeah. on, let him. <laughs> and it's she not my can, fault. She can feel your heartbeat because that's what... 
kind of like why babies like being patted and stuff because they're used to like hearing the mom's heartbeat all the time. Mm. All right, so you're gonna have to give. You have to do a heartbeat with oh. your hand. You can still wrap around your legs. Is that why when Thomas was little, he would get comforted when late at night, you'd be like, and one other thing I don't <laughs> like when you. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little marriage humor. <laughs> My marriage is going great. Yeah, yeah, I would think so. I'm being serious. Yeah, me too. <laughs> All right, let's get to some segment. Yeah, join the Patreon though. Patreon.com slash Trey Kennedy. Thank you guys for trickling in. Uh, once that is crazy a- what you said about the special. I can't believe yep. they're going to millions of dollars. I know. Sorry, right? we had to bleep that part I out. I know. Sorry. We had to- yeah, Derek, make sure you just be sure. And then one, one more time, the foot, the feet will be... Kevin Hart? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know, right? So... Make sure you believe <sighs> that. Yeah, should, should I leave a Patreon? No, you know what? I'll, maybe I'll tell a few um, people. So there is a big... Wow. And they did, like, the big movies. The Rock. Yeah. <laughs> Jim Carrey, The Mask. Huh. Yeah. And it, okay. Very cool. Seinfeld, Kennedy. <laughs> Jenner family. OJ. <laughs> yeah, so enjoy the Patreon if you want to know what all that meant. Uh, let's get to some segments. We got, uh, it's been a little bit. We got, uh, it's beautiful. That was, that was, that, that was worth it. Yeah. <laughs> Is that Derek? Sheltered kid moment. Again, send in your, uh, submissions to trachy.com slash correct opinions. We got a form there. It's easy. Easier since it's ever been. Megan wrote in, she says, Hey, correct opinions. I'm the girl. Uh, who sent in a video related to old email addresses that cut off halfway through. I guess, I don't know. We probably didn't show that because... Pro- it got cut off halfway, halfway through. through. <laughs> she was like, I figured I'd write this out. So this is already a great sheltered kid. Hey, sorry, I'm the girl who you don't know about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my sheltered kid moment was when I was in my parents' computer room in middle school with one of my non-Christian friends. Well, that's already not very sheltered. I didn't yeah, be careful. Even. She created my first Hotmail account for me. That I used for years. Looking back, I realize now that she was laughing at me right in my face, <laughs> even though I used this for years and years, as she typed out my username, Crazy Jesus Freak 104. <laughs> That's funny. She used that for a long time. On a similar note, my daughter recently started preschool. As I'm reading through the welcome newsletter, I notice her teacher's email address at the bottom. And I would love to hear everyone's best guess about what this teacher's age is based on the fact that her email that she was still using ended in bellsouth.net oh <laughs> <laughs> bellsouth.net when's the last time you heard that yeah because that was that old uh like telecom company uh southwestern bell is that what it was called i don't even remember it was like only like she said bonus since this teacher you know shockingly announced this our final year and told us it was okay if we wanted to put her phone number in our phones instead of posting it on our refrigerator <laughs> this is total 107 <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we had a, uh, at the old studio, we had a hot tub, which don't got, no one get a hot tub. Okay. The amount of, that was, I think my, if you came to my comedy show and you're like, I don't know, I didn't love it, it could have been better. It's, it's because of the hot tub. I didn't have you time. Stressed. to. <laughs> no, it was, it took up so, it had so many issues and it was in this area where the, 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 the local hot tub guy was like an 88 year old man. Oh, would, I remember that. Who I called and simply. Had me just describe where my house is. He's like, I don't, I don't use all that like Google Maps stuff. So just like, or the internet at all. Just tell me where it is. So I had to like, wow. I and he vaguely, doesn't know how I to do that. Vaguely, yeah. I'm like, do well. Directions my are problem not is his I specialty. only use internet, and I don't know where I live at all. <laughs> yeah. And I had to vaguely describe it, and he was just immediately like, yeah, yeah, I know. And he showed wow. up, which blew my mind. And then had to pay him with a check, of course. Fun. Um, but I, you know, I got to respect these, uh, the elderly who at some point, I guess it comes to some point in your life where you say, you know what? I am done trying it all. And what I know right now is all I know until I die. <laughs> I won't know any other information. And I don't think my parents have fully got there yet, but it's gotta be coming. You know, no, when you uh, just, show, when you just go, what a, you know, web three AI crypto. No, you get to a point. I'm saying, 68, dude. I'm not going to. Figure that out. I'm not learning anything extra. No. I'm full. Done. Full it's on. That'd be a good feeling. Bellsouth.net. <clears throat> That's funny. Shelter kid moment. Let's uh let's read another shelter kid moment, shall we? This is from Denise Fowler. 
Thank you for bringing us another Shelter Kid moment. Shelter Kid. Let's listen to the whole thing. I really enjoyed your Shelter Kid moments. I was not raised in an overly sheltered home. However, I went to an extremely conservative Christian college, and after graduation, I taught at one of the schools. So I have a ton of stories about the conservative college and the school where I taught. Sometimes when I tell the stories, I actually have to leave out some of the outlandish circumstances where people think I am lying. <laughs> That's great. Um, she said, uh, she says, okay, so she said, here's my submission. The rules for the teachers, especially the female teachers, were sheltered adult moments every day. We had to wear skirts and nylons all the time. Yes, even when we were at home. I enjoyed running. Whoa, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nylons at home. I enjoy running. And while I was a teacher there, I had to wear cul- no. culottes. Culottes? Cool, culottes. They're like, what? Pa- they're just like wide baggy pants that come like down here. I had to wear stylish. culottes and nylons when running. <laughs> Katie's face. <laughs> How do you spell culottes? I don't C-U-L-O-T-T-E-S. Know. You've seen them. They're just like. One summer. Oh. While visiting my parents who live in a different state than where the school is, another teacher friend and I entered a local fun run. We wore culottes and sleeveless shirts because the temps were in the high 80s. We posted our pre-race picture with my dad and brother on Facebook. Um, oh, the fic- oh, this picture is right here. I, mean, I have to see a picture. This looks like... <laughs> Wait, I'll, I'll, I'll send it. Okay. I'll send it right now. If you show up to a, a fun What do you think? Do you, like, do you want to see Rachel in some culottes? Not like at a half marathon. It looks like she would be under Taliban law or something. By the time we finished the race, we'd each missed calls and texts from our school principal, insisting we immediately delete the scandalous photo. Oh, which what? showed off our shoulders if we want to keep our jobs. <gasps> so Where this did is, she so this go? Is, again, blur this out, Derek. This will be on Patreon. Okay, that's <laughs> not, not what... Joking. I thought a culotte was a pant. Those are just skirts. You don't know what culottes are. I really thought they were pants. I think this woman knows. Well, also, that girl's shirt says freakishly amazing. That's going to uh, be yeah. a cuss hey, word. F word. word. Um, wow. so that's very funny. She almost got fired for, for wearing that in a marathon. Can you imagine seeing a woman in a <laughs> half marathon? She's like, I gotta quit my half marathon. I'm going to get fired if I don't put some clothes on. <laughs> I can't believe they tried that's to enforce what you wild. wear at home. Yes. Why? Did she say where she went to college or where she taught? Um, Was she didn't. In she didn't keep Saudi up. Arabia. <laughs> <laughs> she did say, uh, um, She's like, sometimes it was so strict, I forgot how to do normal life. For example, after I quit, I uh, went back to my home state, state. A guy from church offered to help me move some things from my parents' house to my apartment. Before he arrived, I told my dad that he, uh, he would need to ride with the guy in his truck, and I would drive in another vehicle. My dad was like, "What? No, you, no, you <laughs> ride with him. And I responded that I could not because we did not have a chaperone, and oh. that would be inappropriate, even though I was a middle-aged woman. Um, wow. I ended up riding with the guy, but I was still wearing a skirt and <laughs> nylons. That's crazy, though, the, the control they had over adults. Yeah, that's... We ended up getting caught in a twister, and we <laughs> fell in love. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's funny, too. I remember... I hope they paid dude, I, well. fr- I have friends who work for church now, and they'd be like, it's like against church policy to... You ever heard the old Billy Graham, like, he wouldn't even get on an elevator with a woman? Really? Yeah. Which he was the world's most famous pastor, so it's probably good to be super careful. But and it's also stairs. funny to think about, like, I mean, if we if he, if this thing goes higher than five floors, I'm gonna pounce on you. So <laughs> well, I think it's more so that the woman could say anything she, she wanted to culottes? because culottes. But most elevators have cameras. Oh, I don't know. oh like you know, mm. in like mm. a safety way. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you for sending those in. Again, trading.com slash correct opinions. We want to hear from you. I have a uh, next up on the segments. These are good. We like the. Do you want to hear it again? <laughs> I think that's my favorite one. A little like Dracula vibes. Yeah, it's that... like uh, forgetting Sarah Marshall. Well, uh-huh. it's funny to send it to uh, shout out Mikey, one of uh, our other videographer and editor. And I just like. It, I just make something up my head. I send him with absolutely nothing other than my vo- voice, me going, Dramatic <laughs> reading. And that's what he sent back. You're like, great. It was amazing. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, this this one was good. I'm excited for this. Someone sent in that they, um, they work for a church. And this email came into their church, like, info email. 
And now she's sharing it with us. Yeah. So we'll keep her. Wow. Under wraps. But I do think it's pretty funny that someone sent her to church. She's like, let me send it to these comedians to make fun of. <laughs> it's pretty nice of you. Thanks for the content. Um, so I won't say her name or anything, but this is the email. We ready? Do we have a, yep. let's get a, oh, you got it queued up? Yeah. yeah. What are you feeling? <clears throat> no, this is amazing. So this is the email. Hello. How are you? I want to share you. I want to share you. This is a message from your loving God. God don't want anybody to suffer or have hard life. Meaning of life is love, and that's what God wants. That's the meaning of life. If we would take care and love each other, that would solve all problems. But world is not like that. World is a sinful world. <laughs> God, don't God don't destroy this world, but we humans do. God wants peoples to come back to serve him and he wants to give forever life and happiness. God is a God of love, mercy, justice, and a judgment. He loves us peoples as much as he's his son, Jesus. Okay. There is one big lie going on in this world, though. Here we go. It's an evolution lie. First, please think this thing. Say that again? Did First, it... please think this thing. Okay. Did AI write this? <laughs> Why all the fruits, berries, and vegetables taste so good? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Why? Anybody all... can go to own home kitchen and try to do the same taste. This was written by a raccoon. Like the berries are <laughs> taste amazing. Like. <laughs> <laughs> then look up, please, and watch those extremely beautiful birds. Do you really believe birds came from dinosaurs? Is that a the berries taste too good? Okay, sorry. We need very light bones, right size, correct shape, a bird's beak, and feathers. At the same time, birds are very beautiful. <laughs> I send only these two questions to evolution professor and nothing came back. What were the questions? The question, well, he had, <laughs> oh, does okay. address that. Okay. Parentheses. <laughs> Why berries taste so good. <laughs> <laughs> and how those little birds survived without wings. <laughs> answer me that. I, I have to side with the professor here. I don't know even know how to answer that. I just love that it's like, this guy signs in an honest way. Like, who could this be? And then you show up on Sunday and there's this crazy guy in the back just devouring berries. Yeah, his hands are covered. <laughs> his, his mouth is blue. Who do you think wrote okay. that email? Yeah, who? clearly, it's super weird. You got that email. English is not his first la his first language. His or her? I his swear, or her. Yeah, it is yes. a it is a um, Though we are we are far from over, by the way. <laughs> so please stop. I, I doubt it ended with the two <clears throat> questions. <clears throat> then they say evolution gave animals camouflage to survive. <laughs> People say that. Well, if we look, well, if we look, Black Panther. They say it's black. <laughs> No, no, no! Look at the look at the Black Panther, right? They say it's black because it's a nighttime hunter, and that black color also gives it protection during nighttime. First thing, evolution doesn't have brains, and it gave that black color. They say. Second thing, please think how many shades of colors are, and all animals have to be black. Think about it. <laughs> okay. Third thing, then they say there were many panthers with another color also, and the best color was left. Because the best color for the nighttime. This is also a lie. Because <laughs> if you think like the evolutions, elu evolutionists, the animal systems also have to know to do, also have to know to do black anymore. Rabbit is also brown when it's summer and white when it's winter. We need an intelligence to do that. They are. I don't think. I think there's different types. <laughs> <laughs> They also say evolution develops animals or humans. What kind of element we live in? Why then do fish have gills and whales have lungs? They say first came the first cell and that was finally a fish. And then they fin finally the fish came to land. It was frog or something. <laughs> I like he's getting frustrated. Frog or something. But that's impossible because gills should also transform to lungs under the water. They break their own logic when they say that. And how about a whale? Whale proves also God is real because it has lungs. Theory of evolution tells everything started from the ocean. They also say that plants came from the ocean. That's why we have them now. Okay. That's a lie because the plants have an underwater pollination system. Something comes to the beach, it will die for it. And they're breaking their logic again because fish and other water animals and plants belong to the sea. Only our loving God can create life and everything that we humans and animals need. People can try to think, but the deeper we try to dig, the more we lost we are. A simple car engine. Here we go. Needs parts, fuel, and the right structure to work. I had health problems six years ago. Okay. I thought I was going to die. My heart was beating fast. Blood <laughs> pressure was high. Losing energy. When I tried to walk, my legs felt heavy and my stamina was very bad also. More then berries. I started to lose my sleep. Eventually, I crashed into the road and asked God for help. 
And finally, I started to run in the toilet all the time. What? what is when is the car? Then I lost back? all my ability to sleep. Blood came out of my nose. Hair was falling out. My gosh. Visit hospitals. They couldn't help me. They gave me beta blockers Get to that. help my heart and finally medicine up my high blood pressure, too. I went to the hospital, then they refused to take me in. Finally, I contacted sad. another country and asked them to take me to the hospital. They asked, "Where are? Why are you here?" I told them, "I'm in the other. I'm from another country. I need help." But they told me we can't take you in because you don't live here. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. I feel really. Then bad I for finally, this my person. mother saw an angel vision, uh, and after a few days, my health came back. I got my sleeping back, and my heart calmed down. And that's how you know God's real. Read the Bible too, what please. A journey, what a journey. I really wanted it to come back to the car engine. I feel like they started off with a... Berries are so good. <laughs> that was a lot. That was very fun to read. I'm glad the guys do. I'm glad he's all healed up. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. There was so much in the middle that it almost makes you forget the preamble of God loves us. You know, and he doesn't You're want right. to destroy us. You know, yeah. that was a, a good start, and I don't want us to forget that. You know, I, I'm not going to lie. I do resonate a lot with um, people say science. You know, it comes from this. We come from the chickens come from cockroaches or whatever they say. And I, I when I, you just like eat canes dipped in cane sauce, and you're like, I don't want to, but it tastes so good. However, right? it got here. However, it got here. Thank you. How are the berries so good? <laughs> yeah. I, we, I cut up a watermelon because Thomas loves it. I ate some watermelon earlier. Yeah. And he was like, how? What is this? It's I, too good. I feel like I'm somewhat in the know with these types of like maybe theories or conspiracy or whatever. But the questioning the taste of the berries is new to me. Like, what is that based off of? It's just, they're just, just saying that. You ever, you ever eaten something and you're like, it's too good? <laughs> Nothing makes sense. Evolution, <laughs> you know? right? could, evolution could not have created this. Oh, that's. It's it's so good. There's no way. Like yeah, God, God bless us with the delicious fruit. That's. Yeah. It's so period, good. Yeah, period. this couldn't have come from yeah dirt. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm with them. I do think berries taste good. Mm -hmm. I'm with you there. I think Bro if you're gonna berries. try to disprove evolution, it's a bold choice to go after the Black Panther. I don't think that would be my yeah. first choice of like, where, why is it black? Mm -hmm. Nighttime? Okay. Yeah. That seems oh, pretty airtight. Wakanda forever? How about Wakanda six thousand years? <laughs> <laughs> Read your Bible. Yeah, it was a literal seven days of Wakanda. <laughs> All right. Yeah. On the seventh day, he rested. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. That's fun. That takes me back. I, you know, fighting evolution, figuring out what do I believe. And that's nice. Mm -hmm. You know, I might go home and real, watch. Yeah, that was a classic 20 plus years ago. They're like trying to teach evolution in the schools, man. I'm raising my hand. No. Nope. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. There's monkeys right there, dude. Explain that. That was the best. That's the best argument of all time. Yeah. And I wish, I wish at that age it could have been like, you had a strawberry? I never thought to bring up berries. Not You once. had a strawberry. I would Here always go to like the missing link or something, but I never thought about a garden. Bananas. Good. God's candy. I learned bananas. Yeah. We engineered those things, yep. bro. I've been hearing stuff about this lately. Educate I, me. Tell me. Derek, would you look yep. up a little? You seem like you know this stuff. Bananas. Um, it's a wild ride. It's very... So, you know, like the classic banana flavors. Okay. Yeah. And how that absolutely doesn't taste like a banana. Yeah. They're that super gross. Yeah. That was banana in America. Okay. I'm, I'm starting to talk like the email. Old banana <laughs> tastes old banana better than new banana. Monkey always Some like banana. Ca candy, laffy taffy, banana in the wrapper. Runt. <laughs> but it was some, it's, it was like, a, you know, they all come from out of the country. And they made this one banana. It was so good, but they're warning like it's this that's going to backfire. That's too delicate. It's too susceptible to I think some kind of like pest. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if mm -hmm. when, when you know what it happens, so they had to go back to the lab and come out with our modern day banana, which I guess is noticeably less delicious than what we used to have. No way. Like seventy years ago. But we can grow this in bulk, and but it's this easy. is you know economics. It works, and it's still pretty good. But uh, I love bananas and. You know what? I'm I'm quite sad. I wish I could have. I wish asked. I could have experienced. And okay. I, you know, they, those examples bananas still exist elsewhere in the world. But I guess if you're in America, what we this, get, you're getting the cert, you're getting the American banana, which is whatever it is. It Are you talking about the seeded banana? Yeah, it like, didn't need to be I way guess, smaller yeah. too, or something yep, like our yep. shape is weird. 
Oh, look at those. I don't think the mass produced one a long time ago had seeds, but okay. it is that I think that is like the pure, true, like in the jungle banana. And then they they rigged it to have the the really delicious one that then got crushed and we have the current huh. one. And that's all cool. I like learning about that stuff. Very wild. Old banana. New and banana. how so many of our foods are, yeah, some some sci- they some some farmer science farmer guys like voila a new banana and that feels wrong but i guess it's still real food i, I guess, guess we've accepted it why the berries taste so good but yeah kind of like a like a golden dude or something you can take fruits and kind of mm-hmm. make your own make whip up something new. Mm-hmm. oh yeah mm-hmm. why should be in <laughs> i'm here mount rushmore of fruits we're doing this on the road and i was very easy for me i was getting Number one, it's, the number one fruit. I'll tell you what. And this, we're, going, a off, wild we're going off of perfect ripeness. Like in, okay? at their peak. Okay. At their best. Right. Doesn't matter what year. Doesn't matter if, if it's inconsistent. When you have a fruit at its absolute best, absolute best, what's your top four? What's your Mount Rushmore? One for me. It doesn't have to be in order, but I just want people to know. One for me is kiwi. Hands down. And because we, we get fruits pl- fruit plates. And there's a key. Whenever there's, there's kiwi on the fruit plate, I'm like, man. I try to be recycled. I'm like. I don't want to eat all the kiwi. And the whole room was like, to eat the kiwi. Dude, go we don't go crazy, dude. Like, Kiwi's easy. Unbelievable how good a kiwi tastes. You had some wild things on your list. Oh, ooh. What oh, else yeah. do you have in there? You came from single cell? Eat a kiwi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What kiwi, else you got? Cause... Banana. Okay. It's just so g- perfect. Oh, when you eat a perfect banana, it's so good. So versatile. The banana. It is pretty versatile. Easy. Easy on the go snack. You True. just throw a peel out because it's food biodegrades. Yeah. Throw it up, throw it at people. Yeah. Oh. People can slip on them. And oh. that's when you call it degradable because you are degrading them yeah. by throwing trash at them. <laughs> <laughs> and I said cantaloupe. Yeah. Just an absolute fire cantaloupe is unbelievable. Top four. Ice cold. I know. That's what we kept reminding oh. him. Like you get anything. And uh strawberry. Okay. That's a good strawberry's pick. good. But. I could have guessed all those for you except the kiwi. I didn't realize it was so high on your list. I knew kiwi. Oh, did was. you get some? No. But I, but I just feel like I asked. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot. You forgot. I sure did. Yeah. And I forget things all the time too, and it's okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's okay. I did mention to you a single time in passing. You once, did. So yes. I'm not surprised, and mm-hmm. I should have reminded you. Mm-hmm. Give me nectarines. Costco in July. It's they they had it Great figured pick. out. The nectarines okay. in this summer, Rachel and I were throwing them down <laughs> daily. Okay. I'm going to go nectarine. I'm going to go green grapes. Okay. Love those suckers. I'm going to go watermelon, like 4th mm. of July. Rachel and I walked down to downtown Shawnee the other night, bought a dollar slice of watermelon. It felt like the good old days. And then give me strawberry. It's also so good. Those things are packed with sugar. I tell you what, mm. what what would make my top four, but I don't want to be this guy because it's very obnoxious. Tomatoes a fruit. Mm. It's not a fruit, right? Yeah, sure, it has seeds, fruit, but it doesn't taste like the rest. But that's easy in my top four. And heirloom tomatoes in my top four. But it's not a fruit. I'm not. Yeah. Were you part of the conversation after the Durham show where uh, your friends bullied Travis into eating a tomato? <laughs> or did you get to no, be a part of that? No, that sounds good. They were just like, dude, why don't you want this with tomato? He's like, oh, I don't really like it. Like, it's just a tomato. Eat it. He's like, no, I don't really want to. Like, go ahead. <laughs> and he's like, okay, I'll eat the tomato. <laughs> he ate it. Like, what do you think? He's like, I really don't want to be doing this anymore. People pleasers, they're fun to mess with. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they are. Yeah, hey, you made me try caviar. And I... caviar. Oh. When did we have caviar? Or, not caviar. What did we have? Calamari. Calamari. Sorry. My I was bad. like, you guys said caviar. I, like, I, I would participate That's in that. Of... Who bought that? Derek ordered it separately. Put yeah, it on the bill. Yeah. <laughs> calamari. Yeah. What do you not think? A fan? Uh, it wasn't the worst thing I've had. But Did you like, eat the mini octopus? Yeah, that was impressive. I was shocked. Oh, wow. that good for you. You know the calamari, the actual the calamari rings. Those are nice, but then they throw in the little baby octopus. Mm-hmm. Is it, what are they called? I don't know. Baby are they octopus? baby calamari? I don't know. Should I feel they're guilty? Good. I mean, octopus. They're very smart animals. I eat the baby of it. Like, I mean, <laughs> calamari is, this, is squid. It's like a dolphin. It's a squid. <laughs> but so, they do look like a little. Is it a baby squid? It's we're a eating? squid. Oh, yeah. yeah. Squid octopus. Smart. Oh no, we eat octopus. Octopus is good. They're yeah, smart, not smart enough. I've, I've eaten some. You've eaten one. Did you eat one? No. I think my dad's eaten one that was like alive still. Like a little baby one. That's not necessary. Yeah. All right. <laughs> top four quick. We gotta wrap. Um I don't know what order, but strawberry in mine too. Mango. Yeah, of course. Let's see. That's honorable mention. Um 
a perfectly ripe peach. Yeah, Rachel would go peaches too. Mm-hmm. And maybe blueberries. You can never go wrong yeah. with those. Those are just easy. Superfood. Yeah. Derek? Uh, pineapple number one, when you have wow. a really great pineapple. Uh, and sure, that's been on the tour. Love them. I, 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 I've been hogging them. Uh, Honeycrisp apple, number two. Okay. Mm. Uh, green grapes and strawberries. Strawberries. strawberries that's, a, that's a Patriots fan, four right there. <laughs> American man right there. Okay. We, okay, I think that's a wrap. Again, well, we'll get some fan videos and some, again, the spe- Oh, ooh, one more thing about the special. It's oh. crazy. I, I got a call from. No way. <laughs> yeah. How I did you even get a hold either, of but, uh, him? Did you have to go through Megan Fox or? Um, no, I can't believe. I mean, Katie was cool with it, but Sydney Sweeney. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I said as long as she brought Glenn the Powell. same elevator. Glenn Powell. <laughs> 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 well, but seriously, we got special updates. We got fan videos. Uh, we got we got to share some more stuff. Uh, baby updates. If you uh, send in fan videos, because we are getting a lot of them right now, you probably were on the podcast prior to the Patreon version. We are doing some of them there because we get a lot of them. So we want to, but we've gone, we, we got carried away with uh, the, the most wild, dramatic reading of all time. And then why berries fruit. taste so good. So eat your berries, folks. Go check us out on Patreon. Love you guys. And we'll talk to you next week. Peace. Correct opinion.